Jared DeMichael will forever be linked to one of the biggest sports moments in RIT history. The Cinderella story of the tournament so far, the Rochester Institute of Technology out of Rochester, New York. They're going dancing to the Frozen Four in Detroit. It's crazy that it was seven years ago. Like, I mean, it feels like it was just yesterday and um, still very close with basically every single player on that team. And now, obviously, we're a little bit older. We're, we're getting married or guys are having kids. So a lot of us are maybe getting a little bit chubbier, too. But uh, we definitely had a lot of things fall our way. But I think the, the biggest thing that I learned was just our team work ethic. And we were a team like everyone cared for each other and no one cared who was scoring the goal or making the save or blocking the shot. Every time everybody went on the ice, everyone was their biggest cheerleader and rooting for each other. And um, it didn't matter who was hopping over the boards, like you knew what every single guy was gonna do on the ice and you were excited for each other. And um, it was definitely a special time. After that magical season, DeMichael elected to go pro, but quickly realized a long-term career wasn't going to happen. When did you realize that, you know, maybe this isn't going to be a career that I can sustain long term? For me, like, it was, it was a great experience. I'm happy I did it. Um, it was important for me as a hockey player. Like, it was always a goal of mine. I wanted to play professional hockey no matter the level. And um, it just wasn't the, the same camaraderie and just didn't have the same passion for the game as a player as what I thought I was going to have. And I figured I should do something else and maybe have a career in something else because I knew it in hockey, just because of my age and the way things were going, I, I wasn't going to have a long standing career. And, so DeMichael turned to coaching, thanks to his former coach. A big reason I got into coaching was, was Wayne Wilson, the relationship that I had with him, a player, and um, saw the positive effect that he had on me and kind of want to have that same effect on uh, players that I'm coaching. In the so far, coaching has panned out. DeMichael was a part of the RIT Women's Division Three National Championship team, an assistant at Division Three startup Nazareth, and after two years at St. Lawrence, DeMichael has now ended up on the staff at UMass. I'm one of our two assistant coaches here. Um, big pieces of my job are, are probably recruiting. I'm on the road a good amount. I also work with our goalies and I oversee our penalty kill unit. I really try to be honest with the players and show them the positives and negatives and um, whether it be showing them film or doing things before and after practice. Obviously as a player I, I was once in their shoes and knew what it was like and I felt like for me it, I, I enjoyed honesty from the coaching staff and that's something I learned from Wayne Wilson. He, he was going to be hard on you from time to time but he was always going to be honest with you and as a player like it allowed you to have a free mind and you're open-minded about things and I think when, when someone's honest with you you'll you'll do anything for them. Can you see yourself wanting to be or, or being a head coach uh, in, in the college level at some point? It, it's definitely a goal of mine to, to one day be a head coach. I think I need to continue to grow as a coach and as a person and um, I'm still learning but I think every head coach is, is probably still learning whether they're 70 years old or, or 30 years old um, but that's definitely a goal of mine just like as a player whether it's a goal to, to win a lot of games or score a bunch of goals. Um, I, I want to be a head coach one day and, and, and be able to run a program program and um, hopefully one day I'm, I'm lucky enough to have that opportunity.